Once more, Lord, we can gather back in your house this morning. Lord, we thank you for your grace to us, Lord, who believe. And Lord, we desire nothing but that your word will be spoken to us. Amen. That, oh God, we might be built up in this most holy faith. Amen. Forgive our trespasses and our shortcomings, oh God, because there are many. Amen. But we have a goy in our spirit seeking that we might come to that maturity complete manifestation of the children of God be with us O God as I commit this service into your hands may you be with us O God may you be with the interpreter with the hearers also that your word might have reign and dominion as I ask it through the blessed name of Jesus Christ Amen Okay, let's read from Revelation. Revelation chapter 22. I'll read from 11, 12, and 13. Okay, let's start from 10. Revelation 22, verse 10 to 13. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Twelve. And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me. To give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end the first and the last the Lord has blessed you reading of his word you may be seated okay I'll read from the calendar Bible also 22 verses 10 Kabiji, wangambira ama kushinka ne katete shobiambo ya bunga uji ba muye uno buku ne mambo kimie keki ji pepe ai uba bibi muleke owe ngatu bibi bionka bio ne pano ne ai wabi pisha e kare wabi pisha bionka bio ne pano ne ai wa oloka owe ngatu bia oloka bionka bio ne pano ne ai wa jira e kare wa jira bionka bio ne pano tara abongi abukiji Ne mfueto ya mi njina ayo. Ya kupana kubonse monka mwaila mingiro yao. Amiwa ni alefwa, ni omeka, ni mtansi, ni waperako, ni ntendekero, ni mpero. Ok. Jesus. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. Alright, so. Let's see if the Lord will give us something to say. Natumorega. Okay. You get from your Christianity what it is that you are desiring. What your ambitions are. What you want to be. 
Everyone has an idea what they want to be. Those that are in the world have got things that they aspire to. There are people that they look up to. Uh, they've got desires, I want to be like that, I'll do this and I'll become like this. Yes, and they know what they need to do to become like that. Right, that's exactly right. As a Christian, what are your ambitions also? Okay, you see, we as Christians we've got the, we, we've, we've got something that we look up to also. And I want to be like Jesus. That's what we aspire to. And you can be like that. Unless you just don't want to be that. We are living in a time where that is possible. Okay? There is a word to get you there. It's a word that takes you there. Mm, a word that you eat that takes you there. Sure. How do you think your body is going to change? This mortal flesh. How is it going to change? Mm. Something must be happening to you. Something must be happening to you. Right now. Something must be happening to you. Yes, because that change has to start. That change has already started. Mm, you are looking for the completion. Okay, when we see that change manifest on the outside. But that work has already begun in you. Already. If there is nothing happening there. Then there is nothing in there to receive it. Mm. Okay. So we read the scripture where he says, I come quickly. And us who know, we know he has come. He has come. He has come with the word. And you know the word is a judging word. It's a judging word. You are judged by the word of Almighty God. The word judges you. And pronounces judgment on you. That's right. For good or for bad. Mm. You are judged righteous. Oh, you are judged wicked. Okay. So when we talk about these things it's very very important that you understand what is it that we are talking about when we talk about the presence of god being there the presence of god being present with us mm. His word is here with us. He's here himself. 
Yeah, and there is a word that he came down with. That word is what judges you. That word is what puts you in the rapture. That word is what puts you in the bride. Oh, or declares you unworthy. You understand? Sure. If he is present himself, then this is judgment. If God himself is present, then this is judgment. Sure. When God is present, there is a judgment. When God was present in the time of Moses, there was a judgment. Egypt was judged. Mm, there were people coming out of Egypt. God was present. And there was judgment. Every time he is present, there is right and left. Every time he is present, there is a blessing and a curse. A blessing for those that receive him and a curse to those that turn it down. That's right. This is judgment. Every time the word is preached, there is judgment. There is a blessing and a curse. A blessing for those that receive it. And a curse for those that reject it. Huh? That's why Peter said judgment begins in the house of God. And if it begins with us, what about those that are away from this? Uh, you are judged first. Mm, the bride is judged first. That is why she will not stand the judgment. That judgment there that is coming way there she will not be judged there. She will not stand in that judgment because she's receiving her judgment now. The very word that will judge this world is the word that she's being judged by. This word will be judged by this word. Mm. The reason why the, blood, the, 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 the bride will not be in the judgment. In that white throne judgment there. It's because she's receiving that judgment now. That's right. Every time God sent a messenger, that messenger was coming with a word. Uh, every messenger in the seven church ages, they were coming with a word. That word was a judging word. That's right. It blessed the believers of that time. Huh? The believers of that time who received it. Yes, and there was a curse for those that rejected it. Right up until the very end. 
When the presence of God God himself comes down to crown his church to crown his bride mm, so when you hear bride when you hear bride you are talking about a people who are judged judged by the word the word of almighty God who came down that's what the bride is and it's a scary thing it's a scary thing we receive the judgment first we are judged by this word First. And then God declares us righteous. When we receive it, that's right. Then there's a judgment for those that reject it. There's a curse. You remember last time I spoke about the curse? There's a curse on anyone that would twist the word there's a curse for anyone that would try to change this word we know what this word is we know what the prophet said we stand with what he said without adding anything to it if you understand what i'm saying it's a judging word this is the same word that will judge the sinner on that day every church will be judged by this word yes they will be judged on why they rejected it why didn't they receive it they will be judged how they responded to this word on that day but the bride of Jesus Christ this word is judging her now we are standing in the judgment now that's why we won't be judged there we are receiving our judgment now this word is judging us now Yes, sister, you are being judged. You are being judged. You no longer cut your hair. You no longer dress like the world. You no longer behave like the world. That's right. What the women out there do, you don't do. It's the judgment. You no longer drink, brother. You've left your adultery. You've left your thieving. Oh, your crookedness. Amen. It's the judgment. God judges you and you understood that you were a sinner Lord forgive me you came and you lined up with the word you stood with almighty God you stand with the word you are judged That's the same word that will judge this world on that day. We are standing before Almighty God now. Sure. 
Amen. That's why Brother Branham said every time God sends a prophet that is judgment. God himself comes and through that prophet God brings the word of judgment. Oh. To justify him that believes it. And to bring a curse for him that turns it down. You understand? That's exactly what it is. We know there it says, Behold, I come quickly. But we know what has happened in this hour. We know what has happened. Ah, we know what has happened in this hour. You are not in the time of Luther. You are not in the time of Colombo. You are in the end. At the end of the age. At the end of Laodicea. At the end of that age. There was a prophet there. And the presence of God came down. The age closes out. The age closes out. The age closes out. We are waiting for the flesh. We are waiting for the flesh of the Lord Jesus. We are waiting. The flesh of the Lord Jesus. But he is already here. In spirit form. The Holy Ghost. Is Jesus Christ. In spirit form. Uh, it goes back to what I spoke about on Wednesday. God has given us again the gift of His Son and it's in the form of the Holy Ghost. We have the Holy Ghost now which is Jesus Christ in spirit form. There is a judgment. We are standing before the judgment seat of Christ. And we are being judged. Amen. Huh? That's exactly right. We are in the presence of that consuming fire. That leaking flame. Our God is a consuming fire. You understand? We are standing before that now. We are standing before the consuming fire. God has come to us as a consuming fire. Hallelujah. To cleanse the people. To cleanse the people. To cleanse the bride. That he can receive her to himself. That he can marry her. That he can marry her. And people who are just like him, who receive the judgment, who are judged by the word. That's exactly right. That 
is what is happening. The bride is receiving a judgment. Don't just say, I won't stand in the judgment. I won't stand in the judgment. Do you know what the bride is going through now? She's going through that judgment. So that she's not judged with the world. That she will not be judged with the world. She goes through her judgment now. And then he declares her righteous. He makes her pure. He makes her pure. He makes her pure. That's right. He cleanses her completely by his word. She becomes completely clean. Then she's married. Then she's married. She will never stand in the judgment. She has already been judged. This very word judges her. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not for you. It's not for you. Don't stand in the way for those whom it is sent for. That's right. Be perfect. As your Father in heaven is perfect. There are people who are perf- who are who are being perfected now. Sure. If it's not for you, stay out of the way. Mm, may I be a friend to those people? Uh, let me be good to those people. Maybe I'll find a chance. Because I was a friend to the bride. And tonight, Eh? When Jesus talked about this, even his disciples said, oh, then who then can be saved? Huh? Who then can be saved? If it's that hard, who then can be saved? He says, with men this is impossible. But with God all things are possible. There is a bride. For her. He has come. That he might purify her. Yes. A fitting bride for the king of glory. She's pure. She's pure. Inside out. Standing in the very likeness of Christ. Uh, so like him that the two unite and become one. How is that possible, brother? She receives his word. She becomes his word. Then they become one. This is not for the thief. It's not for the adulterer. It's not for the drunkard. It's not for the liar. This is for bride. Amen. 
She's washed. This word washes her. If this word cannot change you, if this word cannot change you, you remain as you are. You remain as you are. Right now, you remain as you are. If this word can't change you, if it can't bring you out of your adultery, if it can't bring you out of your lying, uh, out of your fornication, out of your drunkenness, then you remain as you are. But there is a people who will be changed by this word. Who will say yes to the word and become like what the word says. And that's the judgment. Hmm. You are judged because you received it. You are the righteous, sinless bride of the Lord Jesus Christ. You didn't even do it. Because you received his word. You understand? It's a judging word. The bride sees it. She sees it because she understands what has happened. She knows what came down. She knows she's in the presence of Almighty God. She has received His word. And it scares us. It scares us. I don't know how you take this word. But this is scary for me. It's sacred for me. I understand. I know I'm in the presence of Almighty God. And I want to walk perfect. Huh? Remember when Abraham was getting close to God. And Almighty God appeared to him. And told him walk before me. And be perfect. Walk before me and be perfect. Not Shila. Perfect. Yes. Uh, walk before me and be perfect. What about now? In the presence of Almighty God. How do you want to live, brother? How do you want to live, sister? In the presence of the king. In the presence of the consuming fire. How do you want to live? Amen. Amen. Will you continue your lying in the presence of God? Will you continue with your adulteries and your fornications and your drunkenness? In the presence of the Lord. Hmm? Why have we become so casual? Don't you understand what is going on? You are looking for a judgment there. There is a judgment now. There is a word that judges us. Yes, God sent us a word. God sent us a word. 
That's what unites with him. That's what unites with him. If you turn down this word, then you remain as you are. There's no blood for you. Hmm? That's right. The blood comes on the word. The covenant is confirmed by the blood. If you turn down the covenant, if you turn down the covenant, if you turn down what God tells you you need to do to get closer to Him, if you turn that down, there's no blood for you. That's how serious this is. So I will tell you, no, you say he's here, where is he? There's a word. There is a word that we have received. There is a word that we have received. And this word is judging us. This word is what gets us to his likeness. You understand what I'm telling you? Mm, this is what takes you to being like him. If you turn it down, you will never be like that. You are not going in the rapture. Hmm? The presence of God. The presence of God. So it's more than just saying the presence of God. If the presence of God is here, there is a judgment going on. There is a judgment going on. There are people who receive the judgment. They are receiving it now so that they won't receive it there. So that they don't go into the great tribulation. Why does the foolish virgin go through? Why does the foolish virgin go through uh, tribulation? Natsungu. She's not bright. She's she's virgin. Ah, tau pirwe. Alifen natsungu taba mupire. Bari mukana. She was rejected. Yes, he refused her. Uh, remember there are, there are ten virgins five are wise they get married they become one with the bridegroom the others are virgins they don't commit adultery they are virgins they are virgins but he turns them down. They don't get married. They don't get the ring. And they go through tribulation to be cleansed, to be killed, that they may wash their garments for rejecting him. What did they reject, Brother Robert? They rejected his word. They rejected his presence. Uh, we tell you now the bridegroom is here. This is the time of the marriage. You get married now. Hear me this morning. You get married now. He is here. Receiving a bride to himself. Uh, 
through the word that is preached. We know what the word is. And the people who tell you there is no presence. The presence of God is not here. He will come in the clouds. They forget that's the flesh coming in the clouds. Mm. There is a presence now. His very presence. Angel that came down from heaven. Yes, the angel. The messenger of the covenant. Christ. 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 That pillow of fire. That logos. The word of God. What created the heavens and the earth? That's right, that's the one who is here. The judging word. And the virgins on the earth. And some virgins are wise. They see him. And they receive a marriage. And they enter in. And the door is closed. Uh, by the time these are waking up, what has happened? Lord, let us in. Lord, let us in. I used to know you as my wife. But I don't anymore. Okay? I'm just speaking as the Lord leads. Okay? It's very, very important. Every time I preach, I want you to get that. Don't you ever forget his presence on the earth. Don't you ever forget the presence of that consuming fire. Don't you ever forget the presence of that mighty angel. Christ, Christ, the pillow of fire. Every time you pray, you contact him. That's right, they were not touching Brother Branham in the meetings. He would tell them, you pray. You said, you tell God that man doesn't know me. But you, you know me. And then that prophet would say something about them. They were contacting God. Christ. Mm. Every time you pray. Every time you are in problems. When you raise your voice. Think about him. It's him you are reaching out to touch. It's him who has come down. I don't know how I can say that with the emphasis that I want to say it in. You lose sight of that presence. Amen. 
tawaishi wako amaka ya kwalesa lesu inga chiteti no manga waishi wako batlesa wa maka yonse eu lipo na yonse lo lefka mole pepa eu le ikata it's him you can do all things whatever God lays on your heart to do you can do it whatever God leads your soul to believe whatever God leads your soul to believe you can do it because he is present himself your faith can touch him If you don't believe that, tell me how your body is going to change. How is that even possible? With him being present, then all things are possible. All things. The very presence of God himself. I've never seen it. Hear the word of someone who has. Never experienced it. Hear the word of someone who has experienced it. That is why some are called seers. Mm. They are called seers. They can see things that you can't see. Mm. They can hear things that you cannot hear. And they declare that. And you believe their testimony. Mm. I don't want to get influenced to myself. I'm pointing you to who is present. The one that you can touch. He is the healer. He is Jehovah Jireh. Kapela. That's right. Upanga ishira pashiri. Elesa alipo. Nga na uluala elesa kaposha. Nga na ululiluwa elesa upela. Tawa kafene nsala. Tawa kenjo mwamba. Because he knows about it. Where is your faith? He is here himself. That's right. There were seven men through the seven church ages. The one who came, number eight, is not a man. It was the God of heaven. Uh, remember eight, you go back to the first again. Uh, we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's nothing after that. You go back to the first day. Number eight is eternity. Ah, the eternal himself came down. The eternal God himself came down. After number seven. It was not a man who came. God himself came down. With the message. The judging words. To judge his bride by. I said this is what will cleanse her. That I can marry her. Praise the Lord. 
and go into the marriage supper. You are getting married to the heavenly bridegroom. The one who came down, your spirit and his spirit unite together. That's the marriage. And then you see the flesh. Mm. The spirit and spirit unite. Then the flesh and flesh unite. You understand what I'm telling you? The Holy Ghost first. Uh, the Holy Ghost and your spirit unite. Yes. Then you and his flesh unite. But it starts with this first. He is here. He is here. Great Jehovah God. Huh? That's right. This should change your prayer. The way you pray when you kneel down. Uh, the way you pray when you have problems. You are contacting him who is invincible. But he's present. Yes. That's how I take God. I prove it. I prove it and I prove it. Countless and countless times he has proven that it's true. Yes. So hear it from someone that knows what he's talking about. Mm. Huh? I know God heals. Because I've tested it time and time again. Time and time again. If he is here. What, what is it? What do I need to do? That's right. That's all. That's how you're supposed to take these things. It should change the way you pray. Uh, even when you come to church. If once you can contact him, all your problems are gone. All your sickness is gone. Whatever it is that you walked in through that door, everything you walked in with, you will not go out the same. If you can believe it, you can touch it now. Who, brother Ruba? Jesus Christ. Yes, Christ. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Uh, that's why you see, I, I don't really, uh, I'm not the kind of person that likes to lay hands on you. Uh, it doesn't mean I can't do it, I can. But I want your faith to rise to such a level. To such a level until no one needs to lay hands on you. You will touch God as he passes by. He's walking through here this morning. You can touch him. Mm. 
Review the can pen to depend on the power of 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 the this is what brings rapture in faith. Amen. That's all I'm interested in. That is all I'm interested in. Masaka ya wunga ya chepa san. No, those things that you worry about that's way out there this is what's important if you can believe this those things are secondary no, I will receive food without praying for food uh-uh. but now Uliomusha wako wa Sara. Aga. Uliaishire. Oh Sara. Aishire. Amo na behavior. Yu no, mtafieni. Eh, mtafieni uyu. Abraham chamu shoro kutana. Chachan lesa. Tu umfuefia. Umfuefia kwa yu mkashore. To fulfill that scripture. Aga. Limu matoro lodo mwa na wako. Ipakufua. Ichilaka chabu. Chachita nani. Asha poso mwa na wako. Kuchirefo kumuno mwa na wako. Ndiofo. Efu alefu. Haga, ushari na mubulayo. Asansuleshi we alila. And God heard from heaven. He said, why are you crying? Hmm. For someone who was not part of the promise. Uh, what about you? What about you? What about you, bride of Jesus Christ? Don't you know who you are? Uh, you want to go about hanging your head all the time. Your God is present. You receive what the world does not receive. You receive what other people don't receive. Your gift. Your gift. Is the presence of God himself. Hallelujah. Your gift is God himself. Yeah. We just don't want to believe. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to believe, you will live a life of misery. Mm-hmm. Yes, you will always be saying, but, 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 but. Mm-hmm. There is no but in faith. Mm-hmm. God Himself is here. Mm-hmm. We have received the judgment. Don't you ever forget that. When you pray, remember who you are praying to. Mm. Don't forget who you are talking to. You're not talking to a God who is somewhere out there. Brother Branham said you start thinking about him, he comes close. Mm-hmm. He is here that great God. He is here that great pillar of fire. Oh, 
Almighty God. What is impossible with God? What is impossible with God? Have faith in God. Once you truly believe this, once you get a hold of God that's the last day you will complain Huh? Amen. Amen. I'll say I'll talk to God about this. He will do it. If he doesn't do it, you'll know there's a reason why he hasn't done it. You are in the hands of God. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Nothing happens to you but what he knows about it. He knows. Nice Shiva. Nice Shiva. You can have faith. He's here. Ubu ebukata waku kwatalesa. Eh, epo tu apusani na wamu sonde. Eh, you heard what Brother Branham said. Three angels came to the earth. Eh? One went to the Pentecostals. The other one went to the nominal world. Eh? Billy Graham was sent to the. To, 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 to those out there. Yeah. All Roberts went to the Pentecostals. God himself through the prophet came to the bride. This if all the way so, neither so we ne, ne so we ne, I sakuli na winga. Amen. Amen. Echo to pitch room water, pata. Amen. Oh yes. Pakwa to kwa to kwa kwa. Apa di le sa, pafu ire pa ba fia, pa la puta uluwa. Amen. A doubt that it goes out the door. Amen. Huh? Bafwa kakuso, chende kuisa. If you go there, pakwa la tu, ubu pe wa kwa le somu ine. Ave pakat kesho. Amen. Echo ya kosela. Peba cha kono pebesi peba fifwa ka pebesi pebesi pebesi. Nish, mafu ne pala pa shira pa ne so wa shira e ulipo. Elo le so mu inenge po ali nomba. E ifi nomba ifi apale ifi. You get these privileges because of the presence of God. You get privilege. When I also walk to the summa, a party to come. Na chonso chwa wakumi yako, cha party to come. Yes, amen. Because God has come to you. And to let all this be. Amen. Amen. Okay, no, I think that's it. You believe it like that. You believe it like that. Amen. Eh. 
The seer can only tell you he is here. Oh, even Brother Ryan told them the gift doesn't heal you. Once you know God himself is present Then the miracle can happen Then you can believe it It was just to raise the faith Every time you pray It's him that you're contacting It's him that you're contacting Pray with that understanding Pray with that understanding I'm talking to the one who came down I'm talking to the one that was sitting on that throne and came down Yes You need to understand that. Blessed be his holy name. You believe that? Thank you, Jesus. morning Lord God for your presence and I know that you're here and we adore you this morning we glorify your name Lord may our faith rise may we go up out of this out of this the fleshly senses over into the end where we can catch a glimpse of Bueller land to know that your very presence is here that oh god every time we pray it's you that we are touching and i pray this morning that may your children see that may they reach out this morning and get a hold of you because you are not contained by time you are not contained by space a true heart that reaches out in faith they will touch you they will touch you and they will receive in themselves that what it is they are desiring the woman with that blood issue she reached out she touched you Amen. with that she received in herself that what she was desiring Amen. she felt in herself that she was healed Amen. i pray oh god for those that are under the sound of my voice Amen. father may they touch you this morning and may they receive in themselves that what it is they are reaching out for Amen. may they receive in themselves that in what they are desiring May they receive the Holy Ghost. May they receive healing. May they receive deliverance from God from whatever it is that binds them. May they reach out this morning and receive that blessing. Grant it, oh God, I pray for them each one. Grant it, oh God, as I ask all this through the blessed name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Mm-hmm.